Warning, this podcast is not our podcast. Hello and welcome to First World Cine- 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 Cinema Club. I'm a uh, John Tawasel from Present Confusion here live in sunny Boracay in the fifth dimension. And joining me is yes, yes. hi, yes, yes hi. So this is Princess from the land of Durians, uh, Kinok. It's Kinok from Film Police. Today we'll be talking about the thirty-hour play or film map. Beta Maximus. Oh, by the way, um, Jim. Jim, I think is is sending his vibes, right? Yes, Jim is in ano. We're 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 Jim is transmitting to us via interdimensional link. Seance yes. of uh, Seance? yes. There we have his hair over here. I don't Thoughts? know where the hair comes from, but yes, it's from Jim. So anyway. Um, our guest today is the the renowned Shakespeare Tino, uh, who since 1973 has burned pianos in cleansing exorcism rites, written oh. meta books containing verse epics scribbled between the text margins of his published novels. He has like 666 novels and created hundreds of films that have continued to frustrate archivists. So. Okay. Uh, Shakespeare Tino's oeuvre has attracted a following unto, uh, among interdisciplinary scholars with the Asian Institute of Disembodied Pat, uh, Paraphysics, creating a dedicated committee to comprehensively study how his work has foreshadowed historical events that have shaped the post-colonial Filipino psyche. So he lives uh, with his five children at an 18th century Manila, Manila nunnery that he repurposed using found items. So please say hello, uh, Mr. Shakespeare Tinio, to our audience. Yes. So uh, the first question is very uh, interesting uh, collaboration, a multi uh, media conglomeration of uh, productions, you know. And we, we, we were be able to see this in uh, Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, Shopee, Lazada, among yes. other things, right? And uh, yeah, very interesting. And uh, I, I, I heard that the Pornhub was interested, but uh, they weren't able to sign the contract in time. So can you tell us something about the how you got all of these May companies? Conflict kasi dun sa Pornhub. Kasi yung pag... Uh, yung may conflict with between Pornhub and Globe. Yeah. Uh, so, hindi makanood yung mga Globe fans ng Macbeth Maximus. At saka, oh my. Kaya yun. So, pag-decision na namin, ano, huwag na lang. Yeah. By the way... But were there other offers from other websites? You know, like... Meron ito, ano eh, pa, parang ayaw nilang, ano, gusto, gusto nila secret, secret. Ano, oh, gusto nila secret. Mm. Eh. Parang surprise, you know, in the middle of... Oh, parang, scene, ano, parang, parang, medyo naniniwala kasi sila sa subliminal marketing. Oh. So, mga pinisingit na lang kami mga, ano, mga half-frame na mga product placement. Nila. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So, parang mga ano, yung mga Pig's Blood, ganun? Hindi, yung mismo oh. brand nila. Yung mga brand name, logos. Yeah, okay. you know, the, ah, okay, okay. they... For example, uh, Friendster, you know, they wanted to make a comeback, but uh, yes. they wanted to insert this song called uh, "You Got you, you Know Fred, You Got a Friend in Me," but uh, rap remix, dubstep, but uh, you know, it's it's not in the spirit of the you know the. Oh, okay, medyo, medyo yung creative directors namin, medyo parang gusto silang tulungan yung kaya ng yung kanta na "You've Got a Friendster in Me." Kaso medyo nagkatalo lang regarding the letter H. Parang gusto talaga nalagyan lang H yung Friendster. Kaso ayaw naman nung kabila. Kaya, well, yun. Hindi na naman natuloy. 
ano yung one of my favorite parts of the film was the the way that there was the, this live uh, scoring of the of Akira Kurosawa's Throne of Blood by Wazak Betamus Orchestra, you know? And uh, even there was even a, a literal throne of blood in the in the middle like a dinuguan throne, you know, of blood while this was happening. So okay. Totoo yan. Tapos merong yung mga ano lang nagreklamo lang doon sa kasi yung uh, organization na kasama namin dito. Uh, ano sila composed of ano sila yun? 1,756 members. Yung iba ron, uh, ano kasi uh, mga food activists. So, na-offend sila doon sa dinuguan na natapon. Ano. No, um, kaya, sinigurado namin na andun din sila. Nung doon sa actual performance, sinigurado namin na andun sila para kainin yung dinuguan sa sahig. Mm. Para, yeah. ano, if they ask, you know, what's the taste? They know the taste. O para para hindi sayang. Kasi oh. ayaw nila kasi ng hindi na sayang na pagkain. Yes. In the name of art, di ba? Ano ba naman yung art? Mas mm-hmm. mahalaga ang pagkain kaysa sa sining. Mm-hmm. Correct. Eh, paano naman yung isang scene na ano? Parang may scene kasi doon na hindi ko sure ha kung Bible, Bibles ba yun na nasusunog. So, like, parang may mga, di ba nasa nunnery, nagkaroon ka ng experience sa nunnery type of environment, ganyan. I'm sure nung nasusunog yung Bibles, like what was the reaction of the people? What, sinabi ba nila na, ah, okay, gano'n ang susunod? Yung uh, tao naman, um, kasi beforehand, parang may briefing sa audience. So alam mm-hmm. naman nila na hindi talaga totoong Bible yun. Mm-hmm. Nakasunod na sa harap, holy Bible. Mm-hmm. Yung iba, good news, iba, Old Testament, New Testament, tapos nandun yung mukha ni Cristo. Pero pag binuksan mo lahat ng books na yun, walang laman. Blank siya. Uh, okay. How about this? You know, there's this kind of broka esque to it. I mean, what was the motivation to to infuse that kind of broka movement? Whatever broka ah, movement means. Actually, may may ano, you know, no, may uh, secret ako sa binsen. Yung uh, ito kasi ng Macbeth Maximus was uh, si Lee ng broka kasi maliban ba dun sa ano yung title ng misericordia mis- 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 tayo no. After Ora Pernobis, may project sila na matanggap ng Hubert Balls Fund grant sa Rotterdam. Pero may isa pa siyang work, no, na... Kasi si Ricky Lee kasi maraming tinatagong script yan, eh, na, na hindi na... na direct, hindi na produce, na with different directors. Isa doon kay Dino Broca. Although ito, hindi si... hindi lang si Ricky Lee yung involved. Parang sa dosena silang script writers, no? Uh, si... Uh, Doy Del Mundo, si Bing Lau, uh, etc. No? Uh, Pete Lau, Akaba. Uh, Tapos yun, they, they tried to tackle itong Macbeth. Kaya, uh, uh, yun, ito dapat yung uh, follow-up film ni uh, Broca after uh, Ora Pernobis. Kaso yun nga, yun, hindi nang natuloy. Kasi may problema na naman with the financiers. Kaya, pero yun, Uh, binatay talaga namin lalo na yung 67 scene doon sa manuscript no nung screenplay uh, ni Lino Broca another part na medyo nagustuhan ko especially due to the psychogenic framing of its uh, of its characters no because uh, if you related to the Lacanian theory of Uh, marinated beef no there is there's a cameo here by Yossi Kadiri and uh, they they you know they sang together with uh, Jollibee and the Burger King no and could you, ex- could I, you... Like yeah, I, I like that scene yeah i like that scene too actually ano to no uh, aside from the sa Lacanian psychogenic ano uh, ito kasi uh, particular sequence na yun uh, inspired siya ng uh, real life. No? Bata yun talaga siya sa, ano ko, no, sa sarili ko kasi isaya. Kasi nung bata ako, si Yossi Kadiri yung uh, dinala nilang mascot para sa birthday ko. Um, yun, medyo nagmarka lang din siya kasi hindi pa ako nagsisigarig yun. No? Pero, yun, na, naka-inspire. Naka-inspire yung moment na yun. Hindi ko makalimutan. Uh, medyo na, naluluha nga ako ngayon pag uh, nakipento yun. Pero, hindi ko.
Sobrang heartwarming oh, and inspirational. Oh, wow naman. It's good na may tribute siya doon. Kasi nakakamiss din siya, no? You know, yo, si... Actually, magbibenta kami, nagbibenta kami sa shop yung may, ano sila, may 5.5 sale. Uh, yung si Kadiri, ano, uh, stuff toys. So, sana makabili kayo, pwede kayo sa mga, ano nyo, mga anak nyo, mga kahawin nyo. May iba bang kinonsider maliban kay Yossi Kadiri? Like, ibang jingle, gano'n, na... Actually, lahat, ano, yung iba pa hindi nila lang napansin, ano, yung YC Bikini Brief, yung sa Eco Wallet. Lahat yun, actually, pinlayback namin, eh, during this, the whole 30 hours. Yung iba, siguro, baka medyo nakatulog ka dun sa part na yan, hindi mo napansin. O kaya, baka masyadong mahina, baka napahatsing ka. Uh, baka na mismo yung mga ano, minsan kasi ano eh, mga microsecond yung pag-playback namin, minsan sobrang bagal, sobrang hina, okay, nasa left channel lang, wala sa type, etc. Mm-hmm. So, pero lahat, no? Uh, we really wanted to make this a commercial uh, venture, kaya lahat ng commercials na, na pwede namin ipasok, pinasok talaga namin. Uh, may narinig ako nga na recent na critics sa, ano, eh, sa Village Voice na sinabi, ano, the yung part na lumabas yung uh, Seiko Seiko wallet ang wallet na maswerte tapos parang may kunyari may may perang lumalabas nauhulog sa sa ano from the sky pero yung pera ay ano ay mga yung mga ba, yung mga pera ni Marcos no panahon ni Marcos so wala siyang value pero galing 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 ng, ng juxtaposition oh. nan Yes, pero again, ano, kasi bat-bat nang ano to, kontrobersya talaga tong proyekto na to, na sobrang laki kasi sobrang lawak. Ah, uh, yung village voice niya ano, kasi merong hinalindulad kasi sila nung uh, nung isa sa pitong kritiko doon sa third act, no. Uh, na yung yeah, the parang may statement siya na ano, comparing uh, village voice and the village people. Uh, maraming sensitive na na singers doon sa Village Voice kaya medyo ayan they yeah. tried uh, they tried naman they tried and... tried their best but it wasn't good enough eh. pero <laughs> you know yeah and um i also enjoyed yung part na ano eh kasi di ba there were there, this this parang parang greek chorus na film critics na they were praising uh, this film kasama very eclectic uh, ano Um, mga film reviewers, the film reviewer of uh, Toro, of uh, Candy Magazine, of K Zone, yeah, sila lahat, no, sama-sama sila lahat, so yeah, we're very. Oh, uh, ito, we, we try to ano, ano uh, isa sa mga parang kinatutuwa, no, na no, no, mga mga kritiko, lalo sa mga post, 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 post modern, ano, ah, uh, yung Nagsimula yung film sa mga kritiko. Ayan. Kritiko ang nagsimula ng pelikula. In reverse. So, no. the first hour uh, of this 30-hour odyssey is just uh, critics talking and raving and criticizing and discussing the film. Ayan. Yun ang isa siguro sa mga parang mga pasok na pasok sa mga anal ng history eh. Yeah, very, very ina, very full of, of that, you know, that fiber that holds us together. No? Uh, Princess, did you have something to comment? Tinanong ko si Manola, Dr. Gis, kasi tinex ko siya, sabi ko, si bakit si David si Fincher, nauna ka sa interview sa kanya, sabi ko, what happened to ST? I thought you were gonna talk to ST. Yeah. So, sabi niya, actually, papasok pa lang ako eh, kaso, ano, na, na, na drench daw siya dun sa 30 hour play slash film. So, she's still lost in her thoughts right now. Pero if you oh, were gonna be, you know. Totoo yan, no? Mar- marami sila na, no? parang kinapos. No? Kasi syempre, sanay sila sa film, bigla bibigyan mo ng ganito na hindi naman lang film. No? Pati, mm-hmm. pati rin yung mga kripto sa teatro, ganun din. Kasi parang, ha, theater ba yan? Di naman theater yan. Pinapalubas. Pinapanood nga namin sa sa screen. Et cetera, et cetera. Ayun. Tapos, uh, ayun, ang pinakadulo lang talaga, 
nag uh, nagkakawasa ka doon talaga sa maliliit na detalye. Uh, ayun, yung producer namin, natawag siya Magnolia. Darling. So, yun, nung nabigtas niya yung Magnolia, sabi ko, ay, hate that film! Sabi niya. Kaya, uh, end of conversation. Yun. And so plain na plastic lang pala niya ako kasi sabi niya no no wait I will I'll talk to him this week sabi niya. So it's like okay. baka na ano, lang baka nag, nagbagong loob kasi mm. may message siya so yun na unseen na lang. Na magnolia no. Uh, sabi. Alam mo na, paano pala yung reception ng mga I mean ano yung pinaka best na feedback na na-receive mo kasi especially ako napanood ko siya in three platforms on Shopee, on Facebook And even on that ugly shit called Vimeo, oh, what the fuck is that, you know? But I saw it on all three platforms, you know? Pero ang pinaka na gusto ko si Shopee kasi habang pinapanood ko yung kinakatas yung Pig's Blood, nakakapag-like ako, tapos I think I gathered like four coins. So, alam mo yun, parang inaantok na kasi ako dun sa first part, eh. Sorry, ah. Nakabili din ako ng hanger, eh. Yeah, <laughs> alam mo yun, 40 coins is 40 coins. Eh. Pambili ko rin ng seeds yun, eh. Kasi plantita na ako, di ba? Ganun talaga eh, cause ng pandemic yan eh. So, never heard well, from... Well, you know. ano, um, kasi yung isang kaibigan ko, kapapakana pa lang, ano. Uh, tapos, uh, so, mga... Uh, Alas mag-3 months old pa lang yung baby niya. Tapos, kasabi, syempre, uh, ano, uh, sila-sila mga magkasama. So, habang nanonood siya, nanonood din yung baby, no? Mm. I think it's, it was on the 27th hour of the film. Ayan, biglang kum- nagsasalita na yung bata. Yung mat- na hindi naman, na, na ano nga, di ba nagsasalita before that. Tapos hindi lang nagsasalita, kumakanta pa. Ayan, kinakanta niya yung lupang hinilang. Ayan. Oh, well, medyo naantik ako kasi katatapos lang doon ng ano, di ba, na araw ng kagitingan. Kaya medyo naging ano talaga ako, naging fascistic, ay este, nationalistic simula hmm. nung alamang ko yung ano. Wala ba siya sinabing words? Baka pwede maging website yun eh. You ay, know, like Google. Para, Wala, parang Google. Puro, puro lupang hinira lang eh. Parang, oh. uh, talaga, paulit-ulit, parang nakalup. Oh. Pwede natin siguro ilagay sa... Uh, although, uh, although, may isang, although may isang doktor, I, I think... si even a colleague of John's ano, uh, na na-diagnose yung bata ng COVID. Kasi parang, wow, sobrang loop na yan. Ba't tayo huminto ng bata? Ayun. Na COVID! Na COVID! <laughs> Na-disco. Okay, bigla eh. Parang, yeah. Par- sig- siguro na-diagnose siya with, ano, with, uh, COVID-21. COVID-21. Uh, COVID-21 is the nationalistic strain. Very advanced. COVID for for the new generation, you know. And uh, ah, we have a few uh, listener questions here. Um, yeah, the first one is from Loverboy29, and his question is, uh, oh, this is just numbers. So 16, 41, 29, 176, and 5,718. Okay, so what's your opinion on, on this question? Oh my, oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He got the he got the spirit of the film, no? Of those 30 hours, no? Ah, okay. Very nice. Yun, nice. Yeah, and uh, here's another question. Uh, Wait, uh, I'm I'm just gonna channel him. It's actually one of the 29,000 spirits involved in the production of uh, previous work. No? So uh, let me just uh, shift to my astral projection form. So the question, his question is. Uh, <laughs> That's the question. Uh, what is Um, uh, I think I think uh, Ses can answer that better. Uh, yeah, so it's a, any any ideas of this disembodied spirits question? I think it's very yeah. articulate. Well, yeah. Yeah. Wait, In I'll fairness, naman. Going back to the beach and going back to the beach there. Pwedeng ano? Pwedeng ospa hospital muna siya kasi siya don nagit si. Pero I think the better question to that question is why? 
Why indeed? Why? What the why? greatest question in the universe? Is why? Uh, but uh, the the spirit seems very pleased with his involvement as one of the summon 29,000 spirits by the church organ. So, mm. so yes. I think it's very valid. Uh, it's a very valid observation. Yeah, and I agree. I agree with his sentiment. Favorite, favorite scene, Wow, well, uh, there are so many, like, you know, before that, Throne of Blood, that's one. And uh, the one with Jollibee and Burger King, you know, teaming up. The Seiko Wallet part. But I guess the one of my, of course, I am a big Star Wars fan. So when Hitler fought Darth Vader there in the, in, you know, in uh, Novaliches, that was one of, uh, that blew my mind. Because, you know, the special effects, no? The, Hitler came back for this film. I mean, how do you get his the contract, you know? Signing the contract. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, that's yeah, the yeah, 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 part. Because we used to use green screen. 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 We habang nag-aaway sila. Para realistic talaga. Yeah, kasi medyo magagaling yung actors, kailangan nila na, kasi di ba, pag green screen, parang kailangan mo mag-imagine eh. Eh, pag hindi ka kagalang kagaling umarte, syempre, kailangan mo na support na talaga na, wow, nasa ano talaga kami, outer space talaga kami. Very epic, no? And uh, ang ganda nung ano, nung parang, Um, there was while they were fighting yung yung orchestral music was you know yung tunog nila is tunog classic nisin nisin nakakabusog wow and re- orchestrated version ni John Williams no para laguto pa rin yeah ganda 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 That's Pero so... ako, ano ah, I wanted to congratulate you guys din ah. Kasi ako yung klaseng reviewer na, alam mo yun, wala akong masabing masama eh, puro praise. Ganun ako eh. So, ano ako, I was very happy that, you know, the cultural appropriation here, you know, using the Lapu-Lapu sequence on outer space. That's really great. Um, and, you know, what, what, you know, what else do we have? If, you know, if, for example, ako, hindi pa ako nakapanood dito, like, sa akong aita, nawalan ako ng bahay kasi may pinatay yung subdivision. Anong may expect ko dito para matuwa naman ako ganun? Well, bibigyan namin lahat ng aita na ano, na, ng bahay. Uh, uh, pakita lang sila ng, uh, ng ticket nila, nanonood sila dito. Hmm. Nanonood sila ng kung 30 hours, hindi lang na palahat eh, o hindi lang. Uh, hello? Hello? Oh, yeah. Hello? Swan hello? 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 Swan hello? 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 Ayan. So, ano? Ah, sige. Sige. I think it's one of our Ayun. listeners from the afterlife. Sige lang. Tuloy yeah. Tuloy. Ay, ano? Me- ito medyo, medyo lame yung question. Pero para medyo seryoso din eh. So it's about it's concerning Jim. So may sinend din siyang question earlier. Kaya kanina medyo parang may migraine ako kasi mahaba ng tanong niya pero very insightful naman. So yung una niyang tanong is kasi si director Lamberto Avellana, which is one of the best theater um, directors, you know, in Philippine theater history. So he adapted the portrait of an artist as a Filipino. So ikaw, how will you adapt um portrait of an artist or paano yung adaptation ng portrait of an artist if ever may uncanny resemblance kasi kay Jim parang uncanny yung resemblance ng natong film na to sa portrait of an artist so do you think it's it's the milieu of the, this time in the Filipino minds or Filipino hearts hey, no, uh, uh, salamat sa pagbanggit niya na kasi ang next project ko talaga is uh, portrait no? it's, uh, it's my remake of portrait kasi syempre may mga gugawa na may larawan ganyan I have a portrait of an artist as a Filipino mongrel yun so puro aso so in a way pa medyo may ginawa si Wes Anderson ng Isle of Dogs ano? eh, eh, may, hindi nalalayo ma, parang gano'n din naman yan mga askal although ito live action kasi stop motion yung pera ito totoo talaga mga aso So, 
for the past year, nagte-train na ako ng mga ASCAL. Uh, lahat ng mga uh, na-abandonad itong pandemic na mga aso, yun, inaalagaan namin para umarte. So, method uh, acting yung pinaka tinuturo namin sa kanila. Uh, hopefully, makapag-shoot na kami next year. Yeah, hopefully. We'll, we'll nice, be nice. looking forward to it. Yeah. Hey, may maganda pala. Kasi sabi mo, Ses, ano, ano, uh, yung lagi kang puro maganda lang yung nakikita mo. Uh, ano yung pinakapangit naman dito sa pelikulong to no? na, na nakita mo? Na talagang karabi. Gusto mong, tang- gusto mong uh, dukitin ang iyong mga mata. No? Gusto mong uh, gupitin ang iyong tayo. Mahirap kasi sa personality ko yun eh. Kasi nga, ano ko eh. Very... Pero kung tatanungin ako, like yung actual... Oo, oh, yung ano na talaga, ka, yung sa atin lang, sa ating tatanungin. Hmm. Ano eh, yung... Yung ano, yung sa umpisa. Dun sa part na, basta yun, yung sa umpisa. Yung si Jollibee, tapos si Macdo, nakita. Pero parang medyo touching sa akin kasi naalala ko yung memories ng Jollibee, ganun. Maganda sana siya eh, kaya lang iba yung ginamit na... Tupperware, inaibang ginamit na ano, yun. Yun lang naman yung pangit sa akin. Kasi styro. parang yun yung styro pala niya, hindi siya tama. Parang sabi, ah, sabi 90s daw to eh. Bakit yung styro pang 2010? Ganun. Oh Kasi oh, fault talaga yan ang mga production designer namin. Kasi wala sila beneficyo, no? Kaya siguro oh, subpar lagi yung... Kasi very political pati yung ano, casting ng crew dito. Ah, ayun. Tapos yung ano din, yung choice din ng pig's blood parang dapat sa UP kayo kumuha eh, sa may ano yung sikat doon nabilihan ng turo-turo at doon yung sa east sa mga isaw-isawan ganun. kasi parang at some point akala ko utak na siya ng utak na siya ng ano eh ng someone sa government di pala ano pala yun isaw pala yun yun k- kita mo kaya ayaw ko magsalita kasi nababa na ano ko eh Nababa na kung saan. Nakakasakit ka naman talaga, Sis, eh. Oo, oh, uh, oh, oh, diba? Ang mga nagtitimpe. <laughs> ano, si Jan, nag-usap na rin kami about that, eh. That aspect of yours. Ano ba? So, diba? Sabi ni Jan, pwede. Man, oh. uh, Hindi pwede. Uh, Kailangan lagi tayong ano, eh. Yung sakto so, lang. Hindi tayo pwede mag-kritiko. Bawal yung kritiko kasi. Kailangan kritik ka, pero sa floor ka lang. Oh, kritik lang, walang o. Oh. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Diba? Kritik lang tayo, pero hindi tayo kritik po. Hindi tayo kritika. Oh, female, female ako, feminine ako. Hindi pa rin pwede yun. Kailangan subpar ka lang. Ganun. Ang inexpect so, ko na, ano, uh, Sese, eh, nung yung part nga nung kay Jollibee tsaka kay Makto, na uh, inexpect ko baka na, yung, baka yung hindi mo magustuhan, yung, yung ano, yung part na, yung naging sila, tapos diba, yun, nag-make out sila, ganun, uh, kiss-kiss, ganyan. Tapos biglang ang ginost siya ni McDonald. So, akala, you know? Ginaw siya ni McDonald through text. Ah, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi, oh, yan din. Tayo, Baka ganun. hugot kasi ako eh. Oh, ano yun? Eh. Parang masakit na sa akin pag nakakita ko lagi ng hugot sa palabas. Parang, Pero, yeah, okay lang. Masakpan niyo ko. Trauma, trauma. Diba? Oo. Okay. Yeah. So, yung ano yung pinaka, ano ko talaga, objective ko talaga dito. Gusto ko nang malaman, ano, uh, before tayo nung tapos, uh, uh, after the whole 30 hours, Ito yung gusto ko malaman, ito yung tanong na gusto ko gusto ko masagot niyo. Uh, did you fall in love again? Hmm. Well, in my case. So, yan so... kasi yung alam mo yan ang perfect na distraction question eh. Yung tipong nagkakasakit ka na, tapos wala ka nang sinasahod. Syempre isipin mo, na in love ba ako? Oo, na in love nga siguro. lalo na dito after dito sa 30 hours na palabas na ito you know I spent my days my nights syempre siya happy yun eh o oh, diba kailangan live tayo eh so syempre kailangan tapos nag-aabang pa ako na mura wala kang nilagay na mura oh. hindi ba kasi galit ka eh may at some point dun sa film eh galit ka sa fascismo you know wala akong nakita mura sabi ko ay dito kikita kasi dapat Be careful. Carefully worded no. prose siguro. Ako mm-hmm. ako naman ano eh. Uh, yeah, uh, I fell in love lalo na dun sa ano, lalo na dun sa it it's more is 
to I guess it's more of a nostalgic love kasi I fell in love wow. again with my old yung wallet ko nung 1994 no yung uh-uh. it's it's ano it's it it it's a longing for the past then and also yeah. uh, a uh, a reminder of the past so yeah it's it's ano it's all It's the, it's the synergy talaga eh. Parang parang mm-hmm. ano, parang hamburger lang 'yan eh. Parang Jollibee hamburger. Pag kinain mo lang yung pato, di ba? Pag yung patty lang, di ba? Pag kinain mo lang yung patty, wala 'yon. Pag kinain mo lang yung tinapay, wala 'yon. Para pag pinagsama-sama mo lahat, oh, hamburger. Yeah. Yes, hamburger. Mwa, ganun. So, anyway, Yes. So, so, any last uh, messages, thoughts? For your, yeah, for the audience for that your, will be seeing this yeah, hour. The Sianses uh, will be getting... Yes. So, maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanood ng buong uh, tatlong pong oras uh, ng Macbeth or Maximus, Theater of Destruction. Uh, gusto ko lang sana i-share uh, yung uh, tweet ni Werner Werner Herzog no? nung panood niya yung uh, pelikula nito. Uh, na kung saan sinabi niya na grabe nung uh, nanonood ako ng pelikula mo to at natapos habang pinapanood ko yung pelikula kung mangyari man ang uh, sinasabi nila third world war o kung magunaw man ang mundo nito hindi ko ito mamamalaya yeah. very, nice. very nice topic corner to talaga kahit kailan eh pasikat eh <laughs> <laughs> The filmmaker. Okay. That's my Werner Herzog impression. <laughs> anyway, so uh, um, from all of us to all of you guys, our five listeners on Earth and uh, the two on Jupiter, the three on the Dimension X. No? From I, I'm just here in Boracay and you know, I'm just chilling. You know? just sipping my, my lube. There's my lube. Mm-hmm. No, I, I'd like to thank you all for um, joining us. Thank you, Shakespeare, for joining us. Today. Thanks, ST. Yeah, thanks, ST. ST. All right. So cool. Uh, yeah, Tudalu, uh, Samhamida, whatever you say, Sayonara. And uh, we'll see you guys next time on First World Cinema Club. Bye. Bye. By the way, for today, we actually have a special guest Or two, three special, two special guests. Okay, um, please introduce yourself. Oh, uh, I'm I'm just a fan of ST. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm a fan of ST. Oh my god. So I'm Queen, uh, from from Planet Earth, <laughs> and uh, I'm also launching a website soon. But for now, I'm from Planet Earth. So <laughs> the broadcast, ayan, because um. I really liked about yung may may kinento ka about um, yung ka namesake nila si Lino Broca wherein um, he mentioned that even your less his lesser works pala so basically hindi siya influence nyo directly but um, his lesser work his melodramas are melodramas are important that they've become part of our psyche as film makers so that really kind of struck to me especially since you know naalala ko lang <laughs> after seeing them uh, so can you tell me anything about yung um, melodramas niya ni Lino Broca na, na you can think on the top of your head that really uh, struck a chord sa'yo yun lang <laughs>